Guys, summer is here and we've got 10 cool life hacks to help you have fun in the sun. If you use loose ice to keep all of your food cool, you're gonna end up with a puddle of water and all of your food floating in it. Instead of that, use some frozen water bottles to keep your food cool. The ice will stay contained in the bottles and once it melts, you can just drink the water. For a fun twist on a summer treat, you can actually carbonate many types of fruit using dry ice. Some of my favorites are strawberries, grapes, or sliced pineapple. Put your fruit in a cold safe container on top of the dry ice, separated by a piece of cardboard to prevent excessive freezing. Cover the box with a sheet of foil. You don't want to use any sort of lid that will allow the pressure from the dry ice to build up. After about half an hour, the fruit will have absorbed a lot of carbon dioxide out of the dry ice. It's pretty hard to see on video the difference in the fruit. But as you eat it, it fizzes just like a soda. Maybe more. Using a watermelon, a couple of plastic plumbing parts, and a few simple tools, you can make a fun drink dispenser that's sure to delight. Tiki torches are a great outdoor decoration, but the standard lamp oil that they use only burns in one color. Try using methanol as a fuel. Add boric acid for a green tint, or the lithium from a lithium battery for magenta. Always wear gloves when you're handling the lithium. Don't let it get wet, and if you're gonna be burning the fuel, make sure you're doing it somewhere outside where you won't be breathing in the fumes. Yogurt is a delicious summertime treat, but there can be a couple frustrating things about it. The first is its tendency to squirt out some yogurt as you peel back the foil. By lifting up the foil with the edge of the spoon, all of the escaping yogurt will be caught right where you need it. Occasionally, you may find after finishing a cup of yogurt that your spoon is too heavy and you can't get it to stay up. To avoid getting yogurt on your table and keep your cup from tipping, simply turn your spoon upside down. The redistribution of weight should make it stay up. If you're a big fan of Wendy's Frosties but don't live anywhere near one of the restaurants, here's a simple recipe you can follow to make your own. Start with two cups of chocolate milk, three tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. And if you want to add just a little bit extra, that's not going to hurt. Add one tablespoon of malted milk powder. Finally, add one cup of Cool Whip. Mix together until it's all smooth. If you own an ice cream making machine, you can easily pour the whole concoction into that and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. If not, you can pour all of this into a Ziploc bag, surround that bag with ice and salt in a larger bag, and mix it up until it's the consistency you want. If you're ever on a road trip and wondering how long it is till you arrive, just look for signs that say how many miles it is to the next city. When you see a sign that says distance to your city, take the number of miles times 60, then divide by your speed in miles per hour to get the time remaining. For example, if it's 35 miles to the next city, multiply that times 60 and you'll get 2,100. Divide 2,100 by 80 miles per hour and you get 26.25, which is the number of minutes just over 26 minutes until you arrive at your destination. Of course, most people these days have GPS, but it's a cool trick to know just in case you don't. Ice does a great job of keeping drinks cold, but if you're really in a hurry to cool down a can or a bottle, it works a lot better to use ice, salt, and water. The ice by itself measures a temperature of about 32, maybe 33 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the ice with the water and the salt on it is measuring a chilly 21 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that after only about two minutes, the can in the salty ice water is almost 10 degrees colder than the can in the ice alone. We don't just have to rely on the thermometer. Let's give it a taste test. Noticeably cooler? Doesn't really seem like it just came out of the fridge though. Ice and salt water. Noticeably colder and it only took about two minutes. You've used plenty of lighter fluid, but your barbecue charcoal is still taking too long to light. Shorten your prep time by using the blower function on a shop vac, a hair dryer, or if you don't have electricity, a simple balloon pump. These balloon pumps are great because they work as a bellows that push air out on both the pull and the push. If you're looking for a way to keep your drinks cold without watering them down, try freezing a few different types of soda. Fruit flavored ice cubes work pretty well in all the fruit flavored sodas, and I find that cream soda works well in all the other flavors. Creamy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to see it again, click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.